Okay, now we have some vocab under our belt. Let's start looking at what we're actually going to do for some probability. The first approach that we're going to do is called the empirical approach. So the empirical approach is the probability of an event is going to equal the frequency of the event, whatever it is that we're talking about, over the number of trials. Now, here's the deal. Anytime you find probability, anytime ever, it's always what you're looking for out of the total. That's how you find probability. That's how we're always going to find probability. Here's the key whenever you're talking about empirical. The key to the empirical approach is we're using actual data. All right? We're not predicting something or saying based on the choices available. No, no. This is actual data. You're doing the experiment. We have the information. That's the key to the empirical approach. Still part out of whole, but it's the actual data that's used. So look at this example three. An insurance agent currently insures 182 teenage drivers. Last year, 24 had to file a claim. Based on these results, what is the probability a teenager will file a claim on his or her auto policy in a given year? So we're looking at the probability of filing a claim. This is how many is the in the event. So there's 24 out of how many total possible, which is 182. Do you see that? Let's take it to three decimal places just for accuracy as we go through here. So 24 divided by 182 in your calculator will give you 0.132. All right. And a lot of times in this, it says now interpret what that means. So what that means is about 13 out of 100 teenagers, teenagers will file a claim. And that's what we do. Now, here's the key to this. How many zeros does 100 have in it? Two. How many decimal places are we moving? Two. That's where the 13 came from. If I were to say out of 1,000, how many out of 1,000 would you be looking for? 132. You see that? Okay. So it just depends on whatever it's asking. That's how you make that interpretation. It's a probability, so it's part out of whole. And in this instance, with the empirical approach, it's exact of what we've already done with the experiment. Cool. Let's do another one. The data in the table represent the results in a survey which 200 people were asked their means of travel to work. So this is how people are traveling to work. Use the survey data to fill in the probability column in the table um, for means of travel to work. So how do I figure out how many people drive alone? What are you going to do there? Yup, part out of whole, 153 out of 200. And then we're going to throw this at three decimal places again, right? Because that's just how we're going to go for three decimal places. And then this will plug that into your handy dandy calculator and you get... 0.765. Okay, what about carpooling? You're going to do the same thing, right? 22 out of 100. I'm just not going to ride it every time. What do you get? 0 0.11. Good. What about 10 out of 200? 0 0.05. We're rocking through this. 5 out of 200. 0 0.025. 3, which by other means... 0 0.015, and then what about 7? 7 divided by 200, what do you get? Yep, 0 0.035. Good. All right. Let's do this. Estimate the probability that a randomly selected individual carpools to work. So we've done the work. Let's look here. Carpool. What is that? The probability that a randomly selected individual, because remember, probability says take what we current know and then make the long-term prediction. So based on this 200 pieces of data, we're going to say, oh, in general, a randomly selected individual carpool to work. What do we think is going to happen there? Yep, 0.11. 
Where's my pencil? So 0 0.11 is what we can expect for that. So if we're going to say out of 100 people, how many do we expect? How many to carpool? Two zeros, you're getting it. Two zeros in 100, move it over two places, and we expect 11, right? What happens if we say out of 1,000 people, we expect how many to carpool? Ooh, what happens now? What happens whenever I have to move this three decimal places because I have three zeros? What happens, what do I do with this last space? Throw a zero in it, good. So how many people would we expect a carpool there? 110, you guys are amazing. Yes, you expect 110. Three zeros, three decimal places. Two zeros, two decimal places. That's how it works. Nice. Now here's the next question. Would it be unusual to randomly select an individual who walks to work? Walking individual. Would it be unusual? Ah, remember we said, let me squeeze this down, see if I can put it up there. Unusual is not an opinion. It's less than 0 0.05. So is that less than 0 0.05 if I'm talking about walking to work? Yes, yes, because 0 0.025 is less than 0 0.05, so it is unusual. It's unusual, all right? So honestly, if we were to say that, how many people out of 1,000, out of 1,000, 25 out of 1,000 people walk to work? Yeah, that's not happening very often, right? That would be unusual. Nice. Nice. You guys are rocking through this stuff. I'm impressed. 